Films by Chris.com, that's Chris the K. I'm Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. That's my website. There, if you go to the top, there is a bar and menu bar, and in it, it says Matrix is one of the options, and that will bring you to a chat room where you can chat with me and other viewers. One of the viewers in there regularly posts little scripts he wrote. Uh, Yulf Nick, I think is how you say his username. And uh, a lot of what he posts is stuff that I know how to do using tools, but he likes to post solutions using pure bash. And I've been wanting to share some of his scripts and little notes that he shared. So here's one. Let's go ahead and jump in and have a look at how to do something that you may know how to do using tools, but now you will all know how to do it using pure bash. Okay, here we are in a directory. If I list out what's in here, there's a file called numbers. If I cat out to show what's in that file, it's a list of numbers, but they are not in numerical order. Now I could always pipe that or just run sort on it directly, but just say I take that output, whatever it is, and I want to sort it. I'll run it to sort. But you can see because they're numbers, it doesn't realize it's numbers. It's just looking at a string. So 100 is first because it starts with a one and then 22 and so forth and so on. I've shown in the past, you can remedy this by doing dash capital V to your sort command, and it'll sort them numerically. Problem with this? Not a problem, but we're using a tool called sort. We're not doing this in pure bash. So how can we do this in pure bash? Let's go ahead and create a file that we'll just call sort, okay? And then I'm gonna go to the chat we have and I'm going to paste in, hey, well, first I'm gonna do a shebang here, uh, bin bash, and then I am going to paste in what he gave us here. I'm going to exit out and go back in just so it's color coded. And for his example, he just gave a list of numbers. So what he's doing is he's creating an array. Then he's creating a list of numbers and basically putting each of these in the array, but not giving them the value, but the actual new member, the, the, what's the word I'm looking for here? The identifier for this array. And then he's going to echo it like this, which will sort it. And it sh the output should be this. So let's go ahead, save that, make it executable and then just run sort. Perfect, we have the list of numbers in order. Let's go ahead and go back into our script here. And let's just say, instead of giving the list of numbers, we can just give it that file that we've already created. So I'm just gonna say dollar sign parentheses, and I'm gonna say cat numbers, oops. Why do I keep typing? Numbers, there we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and run that and it sorts the numbers. Just, they're in the correct order. Now it's laying them out all out on one line rather than a list. That's easy to remedy. Again, uh, you could use something like the TR command uh, and replace the new line character, but let's go ahead and just use printf. We'll say printf and then we'll say percent %s backslash n, which means we're gonna print the string that is here and then we're going to go ahead and new line character it. Let's go ahead and run that. If I typed everything correctly, we get a list of numbers all in a row there. And uh, just to show you more, we'll go back into our numbers. Let's go ahead and clear the screen real quick. And I'll just add in a few more numbers here. We'll add that there, and we'll add this here. And you know, at the very beginning, we'll do a really big number. We'll do, how about that? Now we'll run our script and it sorts it. Again, doing it in pure bash. Uh, yes, again, I don't, I, I pr believe you pronounce his username, uh, Yulfnik, and you can check out the link in the description. I'll have a link to this script and some more of his information. And uh, yeah, I hope to see some of you uh, in the Matrix chat room sharing information and just learning from one another. Uh, and I will be sharing more of Yulfnik's uh, little projects he's been sharing with me in the near future. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.